Hello all you fine beautiful people, I'm back here once again with another video, and this is episode number two in my Fan Friday series. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, click the little bell down below so you don't miss anything, and as usual, if you want me to do top ten lists, album reviews, reactions, anything like that, put them down below. But anyway, Fan Friday is something I decided to do. This is where I post a question. And you guys vote on it, but also down below, you guys give give me your thoughts and opinions on why you thought that way. Anyway, today's question is if you could choose only one of two albums. So we got an album more here, Close to the Edge or Relayer by Yes. Now, the reason why I chose these two records is very simple. They're so similar in structure. And amongst Yes fans, they're very held in such high regard as two pinnacles of progressive rock. So I thought, you know what? Let's put it to a vote and see what you guys think. Now, this vote wasn't even close, which I'm kind of shocked. But at the same time, after thinking about it, not necessarily surprising, but I thought I still thought it'd be a little bit closer than what it was. Uh, close to the Edge got 70% of the vote, and Relayer got 30 amongst you. So, if I had to choose, if it was me voting, oh man, I, I think just, just by the narrowest of margins for me, it would be Relayer, but I think that's because, uh, oh, what's the, the end of Gates of Delirium is one of my favorite sections. So far, I've heard of Yes. I really like, I believe it's called the Soon section. And then Sound Chaser and To Be Over. I really like those songs. I think the one reason why I think I chose that over it is because I'm not a huge Siberian Kutru fan. But, so that's kind of, like, I like the three off a of Relayer. I, I... Like Close to the Edge, I really like in You and I, but Siberian Kutru for me is the one where I'm like, out of them, I, I feel it's the weakest, but it's like subjective, really. Anyway, let's get on to your guys' comments. JSTOCK2317. Relayer is still underrated, but I'd take Close to the Edge. Definitely a tough choice because Gates and Sound Chaser are two of my all-time faves, but Close to the Edge is more of a classic somehow. I don't know. I agree, it's a really hard thing to choose. I really like Gates of Delirium and Sound Chaser. They're two fantastic songs. They're, there's just something about them. Like, really interesting songs. Uh, Joe Liebler, Close to the Edge represents the zenith of progressive rock music. Without this album, progressive rock would not have been pushed forward in the public's ears or eyes. As brilliant as any album ever made. Okay. I I can see that. I know a lot of people really hold close to the edge in this high regard. Uh, for, but to say uh, it, progressive rock wouldn't have been pushed forward in the ears, I, I'm not sure. Because I still think Genesis was that band for a lot of people where... They could do the progressive thing, but they also had that soft side where they could put out kind of that, I guess, singles type music, like very commercial as well. But hey, what do I know? Uh, Illume El Tannen. I know Close to the Edge is considered the pinnacle, not only for Yes, but for original prog. But for me, Relayer has soon at the end of Gates. And the journey getting there is masterful. Yes, I agree with that comment a lot. The journey through Gates of Delirium and through their soundscapes and everything going on is insane. It really is. And then when you get to that ending, that very nice, beautiful kind of jamming section where you get... I, I get Steve Howe on his slide, you get Alan White... I think John Anderson might also be playing. I, I remember, I think, seeing a live where I'm almost wondering, John Anderson playing guitar as well, but also singing, like, the song is insane. It really is. And then you get 
especially that ending section. I really dig that ending section of that song. Uh, let's see. Neil Hinks. Monday, Close the Edge. Tuesday, Relayer. Wednesday, Close the Edge. Thursday, Relayer. And it goes on and on. It, it really does. It's a really hard choice to make, at least for me, because I'm like, both albums are really strong. John Case, it's a damn tough choice, but I'd have to say Close to the Edge because in You and I, it's one of the all-time best feel-good songs. I agree with that 100%. Great song. It really is. Like, that, to me, that's my favorite song off of Close to the Edge is and You and I. Uh, Sylvan M, it's close, but Sound Chaser is definitely the weak link, so I guess close to the edge it is. That said, my real Desert Island, yes, LP, might be disc two of Topographic Oceans. Okay. I, I like Sound Chaser quite a bit, so I, I can see, but different for everybody. Robert Wells, one album is good, the other is a masterpiece. Close to the Edge will always win that poll. Yeah, I can see it. Like, I... I, I just don't... I, I like both albums, but just to me, like I said, it's just very sliver goes to Relayer. Uh, Ken, Close to the Edge... It has the classic lineup, pure imaginable music, not done messy like Gates, complete satisfaction every time I listen to it. A masterpiece in its own right. I don't know. Close to the Edge is very messy at the beginning. It really is. So to say one's more messy than the other, they both have their messy moments, in my opinion. Uh... Helicon 289, Relayer Every Time. Patrick Moraz, his soaring sense, Alan White's powerful drumming, Steve Howe and his world class solos, Chris Squire, his complex groundbreaking bass playing, John Anderson, his extraordinary, beautiful, and moving voice. The song sends the listener to new uncharted territories, a sonic cathedral, if you will. Where one emotion are by the end of the album exhausted in a profound and satisfying way. Relayer is a remarkably brave album to have released having gone through a period of criticism for both fans and journalists following the poor reception of Tales from Topographic Oceans and the loss of Rick Wakeman. It's a testament to the strength and resilience of its members to not play it safe and cave to the outside pressures from the record label and negative reviews, and to think their masterpiece going for the one had yet to be written. Wow. Yeah, I, I really agree with a lot of that. Like, it is one of those albums that's very interesting by about the time this album came out. Like, that's that took pretty much some balls to write this record, and... To me, it's one of those records I can listen to and I can always pick up something after listening to it. Uh, Renee Lyons, Relayer, I just like it better. Short, sweet, to the point. As I get older, it becomes Relayer because of the different sound patterns, its driving impact of bass and drums, the freedom given to Steve's guitar, and the soaring vocals and jazzy keyboards. It was... A one-off and still sounds fresh today. Yes. Very much agree with that. It does sound very fresh. Even after every listen, it sounds fresh. G. Phil. Great username. Uh, the Close to the Edge 3 offers more than the Relayer 3. You would argue a trade-off between both side 1 based on overall taste. But existing without in you and Katru... Can't be done. Respect to Chaser and to be over though. Yeah, I can see it. It's pretty much a thing of taste. Uh, Philip Miller. Yes, in every iteration of the band worthy of their accolades, Close to the Edge 
goes deep into my soul and at the point where the band's lineup was the finest group of contemporary musicians on the scene. If you had the Yes album and Close to the Edge as the choices, it would have... Fra yes album Fragile and Close to the Edge as the choices, it would have had some difficulty. Or I would have had some difficulty. Yeah, I can see it. I, I just pretty much put these here pretty much like I said because they're very similar in structure. Uh, Jeff Shil Shilka, I'm sorry, I always butcher your name, I'm sorry about that. Uh, hey Wayne, wow, what a mental dilemma, I've been asked a hundred times what my Island Yes album would be, although I love both these masterpieces, and leave both in my library and grab the perfect remaster of Yes songs. Man, you have to choose one of those. No, no yes songs. No yes songs. Uh, Kevin Jekyll, Close to the Edge is a perfect album. It's my number one album, number one yes album. But I re-listen to Relayer. The track Gates of Delirium has more impact for me. Both have great songs. Really, it's a question like which leg shall I cut off? Either one will make you feel what yes is about. It forced close to the edge, but you really owe it to yourself to do relayer at some point. I I've listened to every song from Relayer on the channel. Go back, see if you can find them. Great, great stuff. Like, like I remember going through yes through a period and listening to a bunch from pretty much uh, Starship Trooper on. And one from each album, and I was, like, completely mind-blown. Like, these guys just blew my mind with their music. Uh, Cyborg213, don't ask me to choose. I responded, peer pressure, choose. <laughs> Jeff Martin, Relayer, for sure, I think it's a master. It's a more mature LP overall. I can see that. Yes, hey -a who Homeburger. Or Homburger. Close to the Edge is the choice. It has to be in vinyl. Open the gatefold cover and immerse in the music. The perfect experience. DHF Hades. I choose to be deaf so I could imagine good music. Okay then. Relayer because Gates of Delirium for Zozo D. I'd agree with that. Ah, Scott from the Prague Corner. Close to the Edge is a perfect album, but if I could choose only one for the eternity, choose one for eternity, it's got to be Relayer. Why? And try and channel my inner Scott. Because perfect can be boring. Gates of Delirium never is. And then finally we got Dunedin. That's an incredibly difficult choice, but I'd have to go close to the edge. Just for the title track alone, although I absolutely love Relayer 2. I concur. Like, this is a really hard, hard list to do. And a lot of it, a lot of people said, this is difficult. Some sided with close to the edge, some sided with Relayer. I think the comments kind of fit the poll were both, but man... Great stuff, like, Relayer, Close to the Edge, both are phenomenal records in their own right for what they are. Uh, progressive rock pushing boundaries, just going all over the place, and to maybe an untrained ear would be like an incomparable mess, but some of the most beautiful stuff you'll ever hear. Anyway, I have to say, I, I still think even after reading the comments, like, my vote would go slight, very, very slight, like, we're talking maybe paper thin slight to relayer but anyway that's my thoughts and opinions and hey your guys comments uh i have probably gonna put another poll up this one might be two different albums from two different bands i think the next one so anyway i have to say thank you guys so much for voting and for giving me your feedback if you're new to the channel, once again, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, click the little bell down below so you don't miss anything. And as usual, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Amir signing out. Peace.